So, I put him down. <laughs> I remember thinking a couple times, like, when I put other animals down, how hard it would be when I put him down. <laughs> Definitely crying more than I do for normal, normal pets. <sighs> I think the part that's frustrating the most is that yesterday, like 24 hours ago, I I spent $500 to figure out what might be wrong with him. Just to euthanize him. The, the vet suggested hospitalizing him probably for... At least for a day. Like 24, 48 hours. And then, then he puked. Um, crazy green bile like... Uh, spinach and seaweed bile looking stuff and then he started just randomly evacuating his bowels um, of I don't know this jelly liquid and random rock hard turds I, was, I I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't afford it one and I didn't want to see him suffering anymore yeah, right, buddy. Yeah. So now, he's passed. He's not going to be a neurologically defective kitty anymore. <sighs> what a rough day. So grateful that my boss let me leave early. I don't think I'd be able to work and still be upset. I mean, like, obviously you can, but... I'm glad I get to be here with him while he's still movable. <laughs> no. I would have had to go home and drop him off anyway, because it's, it's kind of hot in the car. I don't think I could just leave him in the office. <sighs> Knowing that he's just in the office, I mean... Don't leave him alone. <sighs> it's okay, buddy. You're better now, right? You don't feel owie. You don't feel sick. You're getting all the head scratches that you want. Yeah. <laughs> what a crappy day. <laughs> Happy day.